over here with Linnell K.O. Bellows. What's going on, man? What's up, my man? How you doing? All right. How's training, man? Oh, everything beautiful, man. Getting ready for this next fight. That's it. I, I heard that. And let me ask you real quick, uh, Bellows, what is your prediction on Crawford versus Gamboa? Uh, Crawford, if he has an extra night of boxing, it'd be a pretty easy night. Gamboa is a gunner. You know what I mean? He's a puncher. So, of course, he always got that puncher's chance, and you know he's coming, swinging for the fences. You know, I, 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 make for, I, I make for it to be a very interesting fight. It just, who shows up, who, who shows up that night, really. But, uh, I mean, as far as winning, I mean, I've never really seen Crawford's chin tested, so that's where Gamboa stands a chance. But I have seen Crawford box a lot of cats, so, mm -hmm. I mean, outbox him, outbox him. So, I mean, like I said, just to tell of who shows up that night, who's the better man. But I mean, that's a fight that I'm definitely looking forward to watching. But if you had a million dollars on the line and they was going to hand it over to you, who would you pick, man? If you had to pick one. Gamboa. Gamboa? Why? Just because I just like punchers. So, I mean, if I just had to do it, i just go Gamboa, especially after what I've seen with a... Uh, with uh, Kodo this past yeah. week, yeah, so you never know, you never know, them punches change his fight, and like I said, I've never really seen Crawford's chin tested, but I'm sure he's game for it, but we'll see, I, I would go with Gamboa, even though Gamboa, is, uh, he gets hit a lot, <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. I'll go over Gamboa with the big punch. Okay, and one more, what about Crawford against uh, Gamboa? Uh, Crawford. Crawford? Yeah. It's going to be a good fight, but I don't like, uh, I don't like Gamboa's uh, chin, but I think it's going to be a good fight, though. But I'm a little bit leaning bit towards uh, Crawford. Crawford? All right, BoxingTalk.com, and I'm over here with your boy Tim Cole. What's going on, man? Not much, man. You know, same thing every day. I, I heard that. Yeah. Well, we want to go ahead and get your predictions, man. Uh, first one up, um, what do you think about Crawford versus Gamboa? Crawford. Crawford. Knockout. You think he's going to win by knockout? So you think he... I ain't never liked Gamboa. <laughs> he ain't, he's never been like one of my favorite guys. Man. Why don't, don't like you my... like him? His boxing ability is not, is not up to par. Yeah. Man. Okay, okay. And what about Crawford versus Gamboa? That's a pickle fight because they're fighting in Crawford's hometown. And uh, Gambo is a hell of a fighter. Yeah. I, to me, it's a pick em fight. Yeah, it's a pick em fight? Yeah. Okay. And what, what do you have lined up? Um, let everybody know all the fighters you're working with and what, what you got lined up right now. I got the whole money team. I see, I see. You know, we're fighting. I got two of my guys fighting on the 27th. I have Chad Dawson. Fighting on the 21st, so I think everybody's gonna come back in July. And uh, who Chad Dawson fighting? Ruben Blatty. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Just something to get him back into contention. Does Chad Dawson fight out of the Mayweather gym? Because I never see him up here. If you'd have came an hour early, you'd have saw him. Oh, okay. He comes earlier then. Okay. Okay. So, and you know anything about um, his opponent, uh, Ruben? As long as he doesn't go under the aisle, we good. Yeah. <laughs> okay, man. Okay. All right. Well, thank you for your time, Eddie Mustafa Muhammad. My pleasure. All right, man. BoxingTalk.com, and I'm over here with Raider Bombay Merrill. What's going on, man? What's going on, man? Beautiful oh. day. I, I heard that. Another, another day of hard work. I, I heard that. Now, 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 Ray is trying to be the first ever black death boxer champion in the sport of boxing. So how's that going, man? Yeah, it's going real good. All my hard work been paying off. God willing, I'm making my pro debut in October in Fresno, California. I just signed with this. I'm not signed with a sports agent, but Rick Marriott, uh, Rick Marriott, picked me up, and he's trying to introduce me to the boxing world. Okay, that's what it is. So what division are you gonna be fighting at? I was gonna fight at 126, but I kind of grew out of that weight class. So I'm gonna fight at 130. I'm 6'2", I'm a big dude, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, nice. So 6'2", at 130, man, you're going to be something to deal with. Yeah, so you're going to be taking advantage of that long range. You got of the, that, right? Yeah. You got that, right? Fighting behind the jab all day long. I, I heard. I got that speed and that power, you know what I mean? I, I heard that. So let me ask you, Ray, we're going to go ahead and get into some boxing talk a little bit. All I right. want to know, um, what is your prediction on Crawford versus Gamboa? I love getting bored, and I'm a fan of Crawford too. But I, I gotta go with Crawford on this one. You know, getting bored, he's been out for a little over a year, I think. But you know, you and Crawford, he, he, he getting better and better. But I think Crawford's gonna take this one. 
Okay. He, I think he's gonna be the one to be rec recognized at 135. Yeah. So you, so you see, it sound like you see Crawford going pretty yeah. far in the yeah, sport yeah, of boxing. I, do. I, I see him being keen at 135. I got a lot of respect for him. He got a lot of skill, and he, he can fight both ways, southpaw and orthodox. Okay, got you. Chris. All right, Lewis. Let, let me get your prediction, man, on Crawford versus Gamboa. Um, I think, I think I'm, I'm going. I mean, I am Cuban, and, I, and of course, I'm always gonna root. You know, you gotta root for for your country, man. But at the same time, I grew up with Crawford. I've known Crawford since a kid. And straight boxing, I think Crawford has the tools to win the fight. Um, I feel like Gamboa's been way too inactive. I feel like this is too tough of a fight for him to get in right away. Crawford is a much bigger guy. I feel like he, he's gonna be just a little, just a little strong, and he knows how to box. You know, he's gonna use his length. I, and I've seen, like I said, I've seen Crawford his entire career, and I've seen him, you know, in a lot of different situations where he's he's able to to use the things he got to win a fight. And in, in this fight, he has most of the tools. He's fast. He's tall. He's strong. He got a hell of a jab, and and, this, and he can fight you left-handed and and southpaw. He's gonna come fight in his hometown. And I just think. He has all. He has everything on his side to, to beat Gamboa. Um, I feel. I feel like it's gonna be. It's gonna go the distance. But I, I think Crawford will end up winning that. Um, I don't think Gamboa should have took this fight. Mm, good. Good assessment. It's a it's world it's order in boxing. There you go. You guys heard it straight from the Mayweather gym over here. Luis Arias. Hey, give me give me your prediction real quick. Uh, Crawford versus Gamboa. Uh, I, I, had, I had a chance of boxing Gamboa, sparring Gamboa. Oh, okay. Um, How did that go? I, it, I, I, it went good. But, um, I think that Crawford, with boxing skills Crawford has, he's a better boxer than uh, Gamboa as far as he's he more technical. And, he, and, he's a, and he doesn't take the, risk, take the risk that Gamboa takes. So I see Crawford um, winning by, you know, um, unanimous decision. I see, I, I get Crawford out of, out of 12 round fight, I get Crawford at least like 8 or 9 rounds. Oh, okay. eight, 8 rounds out of, out of 12 round fight. And Kofi, yes sir. You, you, what's going on, man? Uh, no, another day. Another day, huh? Another day Training the soldiers. Training soldiers. That's it. That's what we do. <laughs> another day of dancing with bees. <laughs> <laughs> hey, who, Kofi? Who you got? Who you got, man? Crawford versus uh, Gamboa. Man, that's a tough one, man. Yeah, that's a tough one. I mean, I haven't, I haven't seen much of Crawford. I mean, I've seen Gamboa. Uh, from what I'm, what I be hearing, uh, Crawford. Yo, let's get all that shower. Let's go. We got skill, skill man. Good skill fighter. He can punch. Gamboa, very good skill fighter. His chin suspect, but he always come, you know. Sure. He always go down and come up and win fight. Uh, I think it's gonna be a very interesting fight. Yeah. You got so who you picking? You got if you if you had to pick somebody. Ah. Uh, you got a million dollars on the line. If I have a million dollars <laughs> on the line, I go with Gamboa. I've seen Gamboa many times. He's been there. He's been there with a lot of, you know, good experienced fighters. Interesting. BoxingTalk.com, and I'm over here with Fez Batista out of the UK. Matter of fact, uh, he did a special on uh, CNN about his life and his boxing story. What's going on, Fez Batista? Uh, nothing much, man. Just training hard here. Training with my trainer, Dewey Cooper. Working hard and uh, just every day, repeat. Hard work, dedication, the best gym in the world. Man with the gym here in Vegas. I, I hear you. Well, I, I just want to ask you, man. I want to get a prediction. What do you think about the Crawford versus Gamboa fight? Oh, I think that's a great fight. I've actually watched Crawford a few times. He did really well. He came over to the UK and he did really well in Scotland. And uh, Gamboa, I mean, he's got lots of talent, but he's not been uh, looking too amazing. And you know what? If I have to pick, it's going to be a very close fight. If I have to pick, I'm going to go with Crawford. Crawford? Uh, I don't think he's going to stop him. I think he'll win a 12 rounder. Uh, but it'll be a close fight. There's going to be moments where Gamboa does really well there, but I'm picking Crawford for that fight.